Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Joseph Arena with EXP Realty and on the Justin Nelson Network. Um, I'm here to talk to you today briefly about frequently asked questions that folks ask me about living here in Nashville. One of which is obvious is the weather. Although pretty mild in the spring and the fall, it gets pretty humid in the summers, which makes it great for going out on the lake, being outdoors, going to music venues that are hosted like Live on the Green. Even in the winter time, you can still be inside, whether it be in a coffee shop or music venues like the Basement East or the Station Inn that are indoors. It's really great during the colder months. And it doesn't snow, but once every couple years, and it's really not all that much. To segue into that, people ask, well, what is the commuting like? I think that Nashville is pretty spread out from neighborhood to neighborhood and suburb to suburb. I do feel as if having a motor vehicle is the best mode of transportation where you can get around as easy as you see fit. Yes, you can, you know, walk or bike, but it's nowhere near as efficient as if you have your own mode of transportation and public transit is available. Whether you have a car or a motorcycle, in my opinion, those are the best modes of transportation just to be the most efficient. Another frequently asked question folks will ask about is the cost of living. As some Somebody that comes from the great state of New York, just outside of New York City. Taxes here are much more friendly for the individual as opposed to being up there. Property taxes are relatively low compared to the rest of the United States. And what is really awesome is that the state of Tennessee does not tax your income. You'll still pay federal taxes, but there is no state income tax here, which is like giving yourself a raise if you move your business and your life here to Tennessee. And then people will often ask about the food and beverage scene. There's a lot going on here. The farm to table movement is strong here in Middle Tennessee as well because agriculture is all around us in the rural areas. I think the restaurant scene has been constantly improving year after year as we constantly see new restaurants. Over the past five to ten years, I've seen restaurants like Rolf and Daughters pop up, like Henrietta Red pop up, Full City House. Some of these restaurants are some of the best eats out, highly recommended, and the reviews of some of these places are just spectacular. I think it'd be cool to see over the next few years what else comes up in the food and beverage scene so definitely keep an eye out for that. Yo, that's all I got for those quick frequently asked questions. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to hit the like or the subscribe button here. Stay tuned for next time. Can't wait to talk to you guys again.